Channing Tatum is a famous American actor who has consistently delivered a string of blockbusters for the past few years. Growing up, he was a great athlete and his first career choice was football. After he ceased his pursuit of football and dropped out of college, a chain of odd jobs followed. With a little luck, Tatum got a breakthrough as a model and has never looked back ever since. He went on to represent big brands and it was during his travels for advertising campaigns that he realized his calling, acting. He got his acting breakthrough with an appearance in an episode of the TV show, CSI, Miami and a year later in the Samuel Jackson star, Coach Carter. In the following years, Tatum sharpened his acting skills and avoided getting typecast by featuring in films of diverse genres, including action, comedy, drama, thriller, and romance. Initially playing supporting roles in ensemble casts, he soon attained enough star power to start playing leading roles. Thereafter, he exhibited a very astute sense of film selection as many of his films have managed to garner appreciation from both the critics and audiences. The constantly improving Tatum has an impressive list of films lined up for the upcoming months, indicating that maybe his best is yet to come. Channing Tatum was born to Glenn and Kay Tatum in Cullman, Alabama. His father worked in a construction firm while his mother worked for an airline. When he was six years old, his family moved to Mississippi. Throughout his childhood, he played many sports like football, baseball, track etc. and was also trained in martial arts. Next, he moved to Tampa in Florida where he studied in Gaither High School and later in Tampa Catholic High School. He earned a football scholarship to Glenville State College in Glenville, West Virginia, but eventually lost interest in pursuing football and hence dropped out of college. He then worked in a variety of jobs, such as construction worker, stripper, mortgage broker, and salesman, soon after which he moved to Miami. In 2000, he was approached on the street by a talent agent in Miami, who convinced him to pursue modeling. His first stint was with a Ricky Martin music video titled, She Bangs. Tatum signed with a modeling agency in Miami and represented major brands like Armani, American Eagle, Abercrombie and & Fitch, Pepsi, etc. He featured in both print ads and commercials and subsequently signed with two other modeling agencies in Milan and New York. In 2004, the commercials earned him a role in an episode of the TV show, CSI, Miami, which was his first acting role till date. In 2005, his athletic physique helped him to get supporting roles in the films, Coach Carter, Supercross, and Havoc. By now, he was pursuing acting as a full-time career. In 2006, he had three more releases, with the high school romance Step Up being the most notable among them. The film, made on a small budget of 12 million, grossed more than 119 million at the box office which also gave Tatum a chance to show off his dancing abilities. Tatum delivered an intense performance in the 2006 acclaimed drama A Guide to Recognizing Your Saints, where he played a hot-blooded boy. The film won awards at various film festivals. His next significant film was Stop Loss in 2008, where he portrayed an American soldier fighting the war in Iraq. The film was well received by critics. In 2009, he featured in the hit crime drama Public Enemies, starring Johnny Depp and Christian Bale. The same year, he acted as the lead in another big commercial success, G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra, which collected more than 300 million at the box office. He played the lead in the romantic drama Dear John in 2010, which was based on a novel by writer Nicholas Sparks and also starred Amanda Seyfried in the lead. In 2011, he portrayed a variety of roles in films of different genres, including a short but notable role in the comedy The Dilemma and the lead in The Son of No One, which also had Al Pacino in the cast. 2012 was a great year for Tatum as he starred in three box office successes, these were The Vow, another romantic film adopted from a Nicholas Sparks novel, the award-winning action comedy 21 Jump Street and the comedy Magic Mike, which was loosely based on Tatum's own experiences as a stripper. Tatum was also a producer for the last two films. He continued to deliver hits in 2013, with films like the political thriller White House Down and the psychological thriller Side Effects. He also reprised his role as Duke in G.I. Joe, Retaliation, the sequel to the 2009 movie. 
He also hosted an episode of Saturday Night Live in 2012 and appeared in the promotional music video I Wanna Channing All Over Your Tatum the next year. He has also done a voiceover for the popular cartoon The Simpsons. His upcoming movies include Foxcatcher, based on the autobiography of Mark Schultz, an Olympic wrestling champion, 22 Jump Street, which is the eagerly awaited sequel to 21 Jump Street and Jupiter Ascending, a science fiction film co-starring Mila Kunis. Tatum's 2006 film, Step Up, was an unprecedented success. The film ushered a new genre of dance-oriented films and allowed Tatum to display his slick dance moves. Step Up earned more than $119 million at the box office. His comedy film 21 Jump Street, which he also produced, garnered great appreciation from the critics. Tatum's performance in the film was also praised. The film had a good run at the box office too, collecting more than $200 million. At the Hihon International Film Festival of 2006, Tatum and the other cast members of the film A Guide to Recognizing Your Saints collectively received the Best Actor Award. The cast of the film A Guide to Recognizing Your Saints won a special jury prize in the Sundance Film Festival of 2006.